Hi, I'm Benjamin Brown. Pray these videos encouraging and strengthening. And if they are, please share and like. But anyway, check out www.hortonbrotherscrafts.com, all lowercase. But anyway, today we are in Luke 10, verses 17 and 18. Very powerful message. Yes, very powerful message. I'm looking forward to, to sharing it with him. You know, it's a true honor and a gift. Once we accept him as our Lord and Savior, he will send you the Holy Spirit and he will never leave you, forsake you. No, never. And that's in uh, Hebrews 13. If I'm right, six, five and six. But anyway, check it out. And uh, very powerful. No, never. No, never will I leave you or forsake you. So powerful, you know. Once you accept them, what a gift we have. You know, it's so easy to get caught up in the world. And we celebrate Christmas, right? And we always buy gifts in exchange. And we always look forward to opening up them gifts, right? And we celebrate his birthday then. But when he carried that cross and he laid his life down, that gift, that he gave that's underneath the tree every year now and every day that we can come anytime we are in trouble, anytime we have pain, anytime and pray in his name. When we mess up, we can come to him and ask for forgiveness, repent. Oh my gracious. Do we truly know how much of a gift we have? That we can come to him any time because he's always there listening. He never sleeps or slumbers. It's so powerful, so amazing what he did. He laid his life down so we can live through him. And most importantly, once we leave here to have eternal life, to get to live with him forever. Ah, oh, so powerful, so powerful. So much grace, so much love, nothing we did to deserve it. He just knew this was the only way yeah, that he had to come to beat the devil. It was the only way. His father said, the only way through me, to me, is through my only begotten son. Without accepting Jesus is what the father's saying. I don't know you. So powerful what Jesus did for us. Truly amazing. Truly mind-blowing. He is truly a gift and he is so precious. I love him so much. And uh, I pray that only he can open up eyes and ears too. And uh, I pray he's been working on you. But anyway, you know, let's open up in prayer. Dear gracious heavenly father, so grateful for you. So grateful to get to do this. I do not take this for granted. It's a true honor and a privilege to get to do this. These aren't just people, Lord. You created them. You made them. You carried the cross because they are precious to you. Once they see what you did, every ounce of that blood was, it was spilled as precious. You laid your life down to tell us that it is finished. And you made that pathway. Jesus Christ's name, glory to you. Come speak to your people in Jesus Christ's name. It is done. Amen. But anyway, truly powerful. We're going to start in verses 17. So powerful. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. Wow. So powerful, you know, all things are possible through Jesus. What the enemy doesn't want you to see is your identity. Once you come to know your identity, that's problems for him, like I said. But when you come into your identity and you seek Jesus and you want more of him, more of him, you know, the grow, the more your spirit grows, you feed the spirit. And the more you grow that spirit, the stronger you get, the closer you get to Jesus. 
It's so powerful. It's such a gift. You know, it's so easy to overlook, you know, the true gift, what he did when he said, I laid my life down so you can live through me. Oh, my gracious. So much power in his name. That's a good song. Listen to it. Power, 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 wonder working power. And I forgot the name, but uh, uh, there's a new song. Uh, Brandon Lake, I think, sings it. It's a very powerful song. I wish I remembered it. And uh, But a very powerful song. Once you accept him as your Lord and Savior, you get the Holy Spirit. And the more you seek him, the more you dig into him. And that's what the enemy does not want you to get. Once you get that kind of power, all authority over them through Jesus. And his disciples are like, the demons even submit to us through your name. So much power in his name, right? Power, 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 wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. All about Jesus. Glory to God. But anyway, I read this once before, but let's read it again. It's verse 18. He replied after he, after they said that, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Wow. Once they shared that, remember, he was always with God. He saw Satan once he lost that battle fall like lightning from heaven. Of course, we know where he ended up at here. And that's why we get frustrated. That's why we get angry. Because that comes from him. Anger is not of Jesus. Frustration is not of Jesus. Jealousy is not of Jesus. Envy is not of Jesus. Discouragement is not of Jesus. It's not. None of that. Anxiousness. Anxiety. Hurt. Pain. Sickness. Whatever we are dealing with here. That is not of Jesus. No. Whatever we deal with, whatever suffering, that's why Jesus knows what it's like to suffer, you know. He knows what it's like to be betrayed, like by Judas, you know. He knows what it's like to hurt someone, Lazarus, remember? He wept, and uh, so powerful, so mighty, you know. Even though he knew, even though he knew that he could bring Lazarus back to life, you know, he weeps over us. because he cares for us so much. We are truly precious to him. That's why he did it. First Peter 1 5. Lay all of your anxiousness or worries on to me because I care for you. Don't you understand? I laid my life down. I laid it down on that cross so you can come and live through me. So you don't have to deal with these pains and the hurts. Now, that doesn't mean we won't deal with trials. Okay? There's a big difference. We will deal with them. But trials give thanks in everything because they will build you. They will strengthen you. You know, and I'm learning to realize my divorce that I went through, you know, the pain. But when I went to Jesus, I gained so much. But that strengthened me even more. It caused me to dig closer to him. And because of that, man, I love I am so in love with him. And that made my relationship with him stronger. And it's a true honor and gift. And he can do anything. He's a mind-blowing God. He is doing amazing things in this world. He is. He's truly sweeping his spirit like never seen before. And he's opening eyes and ears. And I'm here to say, if that's you, amen. Only he can do that. But remember, whatever you have going on, seek him, pray to him. He knows what you have. Nothing's too big for him. What mere, what's impossible for humans, nothing's, all things are possible with God. Yeah, what's impossible with humans, all things are possible with God. Amen. 1 Thessalonians 5, 24. He who calls you is faithful, who will do it. Amen. Glory to God. You know? It's so easy to get caught up in the world. And that's what the enemy comes. He wants you to focus on what you see. And also he comes to steal this. Once he steals your faith, whatever you're believing, whatever Jesus, God has shown you, whatever you're trying to do, whatever that is. And, uh, you know, hold on to that. 
whatever he shows you, hold on to it every bit you can and realize that when he comes, that won't work. That scripture you're reading, it won't work. It's a lie. Like what he told uh, Lazarus' sister. Did I tell you not to believe and you will see God's glory? Amen. I believe it. I receive it. And uh, I believe for you and trust, trust him, right? Stay strong, okay? He's got you. He sees you. He adores you. He never sleeps or slumbers. Amen. He's always for us. And it's a true gift and honor. And, uh, you know, I truly know and I understand that life can be a battle. And so did Jesus. It's, it's so powerful. But anyway, you know, I rebuke the enemy, whatever he's saying, whatever stronghold he has. Let's pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I come to you right now. Any lies that these people are clicking on these videos, any lies that he is speaking to them. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You have the final say, not him. I refuse. I refuse, Jesus, to allow him speak negative thoughts to your people, to your children. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Break that chain. Let them know that you are there. You never leave us or forsake us. Always with us. In Jesus Christ's name, glory to God. Amen. But anyway, remember, stay strong, okay? He's got you. He's for you. But if that's you, he's opening up your eyes and ears. Pray this prayer. We're going to go deeper. Dear gracious Jesus, I see now what you did for me. You laid your life down. You sacrificed yourself. So I can accept you as my Lord and Savior. I realize I was born as a sinner. And I want to give you every one of my sins from the time I was born to right now. In exchange, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. In return, also, Jesus, you're going to send me your Holy Spirit. And because what you did, I'm going to have eternal life now. But Jesus, let's go deeper than that. Put a hunger and thirst in me. Let me just not have enough of your word, enough of these videos, enough of worship and seeing music. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. But anyway, uh, maybe you download the Holy Bible U version. You start out with the homepage. But if that's you, start on, if you have a Bible and you want to start all over again, start in John. Or if you're new, start in John. And remember, if you're new, he's going to calm the enemy. He will not. He will not. Anybody that rages, he wages war against anybody that stands on Jesus. But anyway, you know, find yourself a group of men that is strong and uh, encouraging you, okay? And uh, I lift you up. I encourage you. And I know he sees you. He adores you. And uh, he will never leave you or forsake you. But anyway. Remember, stay strong. Let's close in prayer. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, I come to you. What a true gift. What a true honor to get to do this. Speak to your people. I know these videos are disrupting the world and they're strengthening your people and encouraging them. I believe it. It's already done. In Jesus Christ's name, what an honor to do this. In Jesus Christ's name, you get all the glory and praise. You're worthy to be seen, worthy to be worshipped, worthy to be famous. Not about that. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. But anyway, remember to stay strong, okay? Stay strong. He's got you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Glory to him. Stay strong. He's got you.